We are back here on Girl Talk, coming to you from Custom Audio Video. I'm with Ian Brown, one of the specialists here, and you've put together a fun little demonstration for us mm -hmm. for invisible speakers. This is really cool. We always get a chance. I get a little tutorial before we start to film, and this is amazing, really cool stuff. So tell us about these invisible speakers sure. and what we're looking at. Well, um, you know, when you go into a room, typically when, when we go into new construction homes, there's an interior designer and the clients, and they're all kind of picky about uh, how the room looks, whether it be what's on the walls, uh, what's in the ceiling. Um, usually, of course, there's lights, there's light cans, there's HVAC registers. And then the AV guy comes along and says, hey, we're going to put speakers there, and everybody gets kind of hyper. So we have a solution which... Uh, at the end of the day would be a speaker in the ceiling or the wall, but you would never see it. It actually is hidden behind the drywall. This is so cool. So this is a little demo. What we're looking at is the speaker system, but it's just pretend that this is a completed wall, not just a section of yeah. a wall. And what do you do when you, when you go in? So we would wire the house as normal. So wherever we plan to put the speakers in the ceiling or in the wall, we'd run the wire at the, at the rough end stage. And then uh, we, we'd actually put something in place where this speaker would be, uh, just a placeholder. So the drywall guy would be able to drywall up to this point all the way around. So now imagine that this is all drywall. Um, just before the drywall's finished, we would come along and actually put this part of it in. Uh, and behind here, there's a framework which holds uh, speakers in place and then we shim it all so that it's level with the drywall around, uh, screw it in here, and then this is essentially just the same as the drywall that would be around about. The drywall guy would finish as normal. He'd, he'd use his drywall tape between you know, th this surface and the and next one. This is the drywall yeah. that he's already mm -hmm. installed. So he would do this. He would, he would use the usual drywall mud over the top, sand it down, and then you do a finished layer of drywall mud Completely over, the, over the complete thing. Um, and then sand it, and, and afterwards it, it just looks like finished drywall. Uh, it could be painted, it could be wallpapered over. Uh, and, and on our wall here we have full paint, it could be painted that way too. You don't want to hang pictures on it though. Don't <laughs> hang pictures on it, no. Don't, don't put a nail through this. But essentially it's the same as drywall. So whether it's the wall or the ceiling, it just looks like drywall. This is amazing too, because again, not only is it just kind of tucked away, you can't see it, but it sounds great too. Mm -hmm. Can sure. you demo it quick? Cause yeah, yeah. I didn't think, of course, a little non-believer here. So it sounds great. You also said it really, um, you have a technical term, mm -hmm. really disperses mm -hmm. the, the music? Is yeah. that the right, the, the right Any word? speaker, whether it be an on-wall or in ceiling or in-wall, um, uh, they have what's called a dispersion pattern. In other words, the degree dispersion that it, it disperses. And this one has a much wider dispersion pattern than a typical speaker. So um, typically we would find maybe a 90 to 110 degrees dispersion, and in this case it's 170. So it's very wide. Um, sometimes, you know, if we put standard in-ceiling speakers in, we like to place them so that they match with the, with the ceiling cans, so mm -hmm. they, they don't look out of place. You know, everything lines up. But sometimes um, uh, this particular uh, style could be placed elsewhere it doesn't have to be between the two cans it doesn't well, you have, don't to, have to worry about right. where it is you, you can focus more on the final sound mm -hmm. and the quality of sound that you're going to mm -hmm. get in the room versus trying to work around yeah. the aesthetics of where you got to place it to make sure. sure that the homeowner's happy so this really could be placed uh, in the corner of the room it could be placed towards the 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 you know the the corner where the the ceiling and the wall meet uh, normally we wouldn't put a regular speaker there it wouldn't quite sound the same, but because this one has a larger dispersion pattern, it really doesn't, you know, it's, it's not as, as uh, critical. Okay. The placement's not as critical as, as a standard speaker. So the whole, in, kind of in summary, we've got um, the speakers are in, obviously, behind the wall, tucked in, and then this particular board that's over the section of speaker is part of that whole speaker package. Mm -hmm. So right. this is, you can't, this is not just regular drywall. This is something that mm -hmm. comes 
with the mm -hmm. system. Right. But it is um, completely worked into the drywall mm -hmm. that's around it yeah. so that it is a beautiful wall that, again, you get great sound. I'd probably lean more towards the, the ceiling mm -hmm. just because I think I would be afraid it, that you yeah. forget that it you might be there and you're thinking, oh, the great family the picture, let's sure. put this up here. But Which really, would be twofold. One, you'd put the nail through this and two, you'd put something in front of the speaker. So you would... You, yeah, you know, you're, you're uh, totally <laughs> taking, your, mm -hmm. taking yourself out there. There's also a subwoofer that, that we can match with oh, this as well. Right. And exactly the same type of thing. It, it looks the same. It installs the same. So, you know, sometimes we can just do left and right. Sometimes we can do left, right, and the subwoofer if it's that kind of room that, that needs more low end. And if you want to just be selective and just put this in your great room or, you know, you don't have to put this in every room of the house. You, you can be a little bit more selective. Mm -hmm. You can do that too. Whether sure. And if it's new construction or renovation, yep. um, and depending on your situation, you might be able to retrofit it, but... Um, mm -hmm. It's definitely worth coming in and talking to these guys about this yeah. as an option for your home. We actually have this demo from our, um, our rep for about a month. So, um, you know, come in, uh, let's see how it is. Uh, we're actually going to take it out and let interior designers see it as well and hear it, and, and hopefully that will all work out. It's another great option from Custom Audio Video. Ian, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you all for tuning in to this episode of Girl Talk. I'm Debbie Court, and we'll see you next time.